I, I credit most of my, uh, I guess, creativity to, um, to the whole Club Kids scene because that's how I got started in it. And they were so interesting about the way that they used materials. They would take such ordinary objects and make them extraordinary. And so I love that. Literally one day my boss came in um, a couple years ago, came into work and he had been to the hardware store because he was working on like his dryer, it's like washer and dryer, and he had that like uh, aluminum kind of dryer tubing. And he was like, mm -hmm. I was like replacing the dryer tubing and I had some extra and I just thought like, maybe you could do something with it. And I was like, oh my God, are you joking? I was like, I'll like make it a rough, I'll make it a sleeve, I'll make it a head thing. Like make it, <laughs> like freaked out. And he was like, whoa. Hey Queens, my name is Titania Steele and welcome to Paul Brickman's Drag by Definition, an online art exhibition on eachone.com starting June 25th featuring me, and my fellow drag queens. I started out as a musical theater kid, went to school for musical theater, and moved up to New York, and I happened into the club kids scene. And I was so inspired by the creativity of what they were doing, and I thought, you know, hey, I'm pretty creative too, and I think I could do some pretty cool stuff with that. And so it evolved from there, uh, doing club kid things, and then from there it evolved, and I kept on trying to learn new things, and I started getting a little fishier, and then every now and then I'll go, maybe I want to do this today, or maybe I want to do this today. Maybe I want to be a monster of some sort. Maybe I want to be a zombie. Maybe I want to be Glamazon. And that's what I think is so fun about it. The, one, of, one of the things that I love most about performing in drag, when I, was, when I was a musical theater kid, and why I sort of got out of that business, was that so little of it was actually about the performing. And the cathartic experience of getting up in front of an audience is why I love doing this. And I found that through drag, I could, I could get up and do whatever I want. If I feel like parking and barking a song today, then that's what I'm gonna give you. And if I feel like being fun, that's what I'm gonna give you. And if you don't like it, wait a couple minutes, somebody else will get on stage and do something else but it gives me the opportunity to express what I want to express when I want to express it. When people are starting drag, I've had a lot of people who will approach me on Facebook or, or Instagram or, or whatnot and say, hey, I really want to do drag, will you paint me? And I say, no. If you really want to invest yourself in this career, you have, to, you have to do it yourself. You have to look into this journey for yourself because there's something so magical. It's actually one of my favorite parts about it. It's meditative to sit in front of the mirror. You have to get so up close and personal with your face and your body and your genitalia. Just add the whole thing about it. You have to be so in tune with who you are and you have to know your face to be able to reshape it into something else. 